congratulations. Uh, you know, I, I love seeing you in everything you do, but this man, okay, you know, childhood dream to be Robin? Yeah, to be Robin in an extra size small. It works for you. You can't beat that. I'm changing the face of good-looking guys in the world. You don't have to be like a waist dirty anymore. You just could be rounded and lovely. You did a great job. And Thank what you. is cooler, driving a Batmobile or the Back to the Future car? It depends on the day. But mainly at night, driving the Batmobile, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. No, no, no. You, you, you just can't. Yeah. Nice. You stop traffic, you go anywhere, you park anywhere, you eat whatever lights you want to eat, you do whatever you want in that car. <laughs> That is a cool scene, I have to say, bar okay. none. Probably one of the highlights of your career, I would think, huh? Oh, really? I think so. Oh, thank you. Getting in a Batmobile? Dude, you how much cooler does it get? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I, I am cool for life. Well, you always have been, but now, that's it. Like, nobody can surpass your coolness. Cool is up on another level now. <laughs> Did you have any fond memories of the original Arthur film? Well, I thought the original was a great movie. It was fun, uh, it was cute, it was lovely, great cast of people. And uh, I think uh, the one that we have here is wonderful in itself. It's, you know, 30 years later, yes. down the road, wonderful actors in it. And uh, uh, I believe we conveyed a, a beautiful, lovely message in this movie. Absolutely, and getting to work with someone like Russell Brand, what was that like for you? I mean, you've worked opposite some pretty funny people in your career, but what's it like to just go one-on-one -on -one with him? Um, it's wonderful when you work with someone that's so giving, so honest, so open to, to ideas and just going for it and uh, feeling a really good blend, a good chemistry with someone. Uh, I learned a lot, you know. Uh, you, you really have to have a sharp ear, you know, and it's like... Uh, somebody throwing something at you and you don't expect it coming and you got to react to it and you throw it back and and uh, it goes back and forth like that. Yeah, I was going to ask about the improvisation on this film because obviously, I mean, you have a pretty tight script, but when you have somebody like Russell Brand, there's going to be a lot of improv, I would think. What What's that like for you to, to work off that? Um, I think it's great because it, it only adds to the feature of those characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, you discover things that normally you might not discover, you know, on the script, you know. Um, not taking anything away from the script by any means, but I think improv again, it just adds a whole layer, a whole different flavor to what's going on. I think it only enhances, you know, uh, a, a moment. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Russell was the perfect guy to play Arthur? It's a tough, you know, it's tough shoes to fill Dudley Moore, to fill that. And I thought he was just wonderful in this. Well, you know, he's a very unique person, you know. Uh, for those of us that know his history, he's gone through a lot. You know, he put himself back together. Uh, he's learned a lot about his life and himself. And, you know, when you bring that to the table and you're sharing that with people and people sharing their life with you and... You know, you put that all together on screen, you know. It looks it looks really good. It looks honest. It looks smart. It looks witty. He brings all those elements. Yeah, and working opposite someone like Helen Mirren. Wow, that must have been quite a trip, I would think. Uh, it was an awesome trip. She's a beautiful, wonderful human being and uh, vastly talented and uh, a joy to work with. I hear she can be quite naughty at times, too. I have to plead the fifth on that one. Oh, no scoop from Luis Guzman. That, that's, yeah, that's why I'm wearing a turtleneck today. Okay, I got it. I understand. You, mean, you know what I mean? You've given us all we need. Too much. <laughs> There's a wonderful scene in this film where Arthur takes Naomi to Grand Central Station. Just, you know, it's, it's just so romantic. I want to know what's the most romantic thing you've done for someone? The most romantic thing I've done been so many, but so give me a second here. I don't know what thing I've done. Oh, man. Um, it could be a little small thing, too. It doesn't have to be a big, grand, extravagant thing. No, no, because I don't do nothing big and extravagant. That's the whole thing. They're all small. They're concise. I say, um, 
I say uh, definitely cooked a beautiful, wonderful meal and had an incredible layout. That's a good one. That's keeping it real. That's keeping it real. I want to know, you've been entertaining us for so many years, and I wondered, who was there an actor or a film or something that inspired you to become an actor? Um, I've always loved the movie On the Waterfront. I thought that was such a classic. It was a great artistry of work. And uh, it was so honest and so believable. And uh, that, that was one of my early learning experiences as far as this is how this art of acting could be done. Anybody that you've worked with that just kind of blew your socks off? Worked with so many people. Well, um, I got to say, uh, I guess one guy that really did blow me away was when I worked with Denzel on the, uh, on the Bone Collector. And just seeing a guy that had that condition, you know, and he just couldn't get up. Mm. And just feeling the emotion for someone like that in that state. Yeah, really good. We're going to see you back on How to Make It in America. Absolutely. You're having fun on that show. That's a good program. Well, we start shooting that on Monday. And, uh, you know, we have some great writing on that show, some great storylines coming up. We're going to blow it out of the water. That's what we do. Good job. Well, good job in this, too. And again, Thank I hope you. you did get to keep the bat, the Robin suit. Did they let you keep it? Um, I, I donated it to a museum. That's very kind of you. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere out in the Midwest. I forget. <laughs> like, they have like a Robin museum. Excellent. Yeah. Well, good job in this, as always. But Great I want, to talk to you. I want you to know that that Robin museum, yeah. it's like I only have the outfit there, but it's actual bird robins from different parts of the world. Cool. Yeah, I didn't know there were so many different variety of robins. I did not either. That's yeah, good yeah. to know. <laughs> Thank you. They should have one in Toronto. I would go visit that. There you Thank go. you very much. Great talking to have you. A great